all right so before this video starts we are going to be doing a weekly giveaway of a thousand robux so we're just gonna pick a new winner every single week for the robux all you have to do is make sure you are subscribed have your post notifications turned on like the video and the most important step is to make sure you share our channel with as many people as you can so maybe just on discord servers um developers aspiring designers hope you enjoy this video welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be doing an anime gfx tutorial as you can see um i have a character here and i also have the effect right over here i'm going to leave a download link in the description below for this effects right here so uh yeah let's get started i'm going to use the magic eraser tool and i'm just going to click on the background to remove the whites i'm also going to move him because the effect is cut off i don't know why all right so now that we have this let's make a new layer underneath the character and we're gonna go ahead and now you want to use your brush tool you just want to paint paint some shadows right right click on the character and you want to go to duplicate i'm going to take this and drag it below right click on it and go to rasterize now you want to hold control and click on this icon now just make a selection around the character um you want to make sure your foreground color is on black and you want to hit alt and backspace Hit Ctrl D to get rid of the selection. Now, if you notice over here, um, what we basically did was we just filled the selection with the foreground color that we have. Now you want to have this selected and you want to hit Ctrl T and just hold shift as we bring this down. Move it back up and go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And I'm going to put this at around maybe two. Lower the opacity so now it looks like he's actually on the um the floor of the background all right so i have this graphics pack over here it's called the it's called the killer pack i'm pretty sure you can find it on youtube just look it up um it's completely free so i'm gonna take this effect and i'm just going to drag and drop it onto my canvas i'm just gonna hide this for now okay hit control u so you could change the color uh, that's fine I'm going to duplicate it just so I have a backup all right I'm gonna put it right here and just copy this again So take the original effects layer, control J to duplicate it. And we're just gonna go up to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. Let's bring this up right about there. Should be fine. And I'm gonna go overlay. I'm going to duplicate this again. And I'm just gonna hit linear dodge. Something like that. And go to the original layer go to the first layer and right click go to blending options and over here you should have outer glow we're just gonna enable that choose the right color all right i think that's fine um you can do inner glow as well inner shadow i'm gonna put this on overlay mode it's a bit darker all right, so now you want to hold alt and just drag down this will make a duplicate as well right click and go to rasterize layer style now we want to take our smudge tool do something like this so there you go um now we're going to do some lighting effects so make a new layer go to your gradient tool click this and make sure you have it from foreground to transparent i'm gonna have my foreground as black and i have it set on radio gradient and with the reverse ticked i just want to click from the torso of the character just drag it out i'm gonna change this to soft light all right and 
I'm also going to duplicate it and go to normal. Now I'm going to go to the character. I'm going to right click blending options and you want to go, you want to go bevel and I want it angled like this. I have both of these set to overlay. So if you want, you could copy my settings. Now I'm going to make a new layer again, this time on top of the background. I'm going to use my brush tool and I'm going to use a red color. And I'm just going to paint on the floor because it has no lighting. I'm just going to go overlay and I can just control J to make a duplicate to copy it again. And I'm just going to copy it one more time. This time I'm going to put it on screen. There we go. Um, now I'm going to add a curves adjustment layer let's do exposure now go to your background and duplicate it so control j and i'm just gonna go to filter blur and gaussian blur 2.5 no, actually i'm gonna do three now use your eraser tool so just click and hold go back to eraser and I'm just going to erase the parts I don't want to be blurred. So right over here. And uh, yeah, there you have it. Let me do a before and after so you can see. Here's the character and um, the effects. And let me just take off the effects we have here. And here is the before and here is the after so if this video helps you make sure you leave a like check out our website gfxcomma.com um subscribe i will see you in the next video